Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about these brand new products from Vifly. These have only just come out. The first one is called the GPS Mate and the second one is a strobe. Now Vifly make lots of cool little gadgets like this and I have uh, quite a few of the Vifly Finder 2s on different models. That's the battery backed up uh, beeper that also has a flashing LED on it as well uh, that has saved uh, models disappearing forever on a handful of occasions for me they are literally worth their weight in gold in those instances the other piece of kit before we get into these that I'm a massive fan of actually and I didn't really get this when I first reviewed it was this thing here this is the short saver uh, this is a smoke stopper the way it works is that uh, you plug your battery in XT60 and XT30 and then uh, the really cool thing is you actually can turn the output on at the press of a button. Now, I didn't really find that particularly exciting until I started building and doing things like binding receivers and having to power up and reboot systems. Uh, being able to do it all, just the press of a button. If you've ever been in one of those situations where you're trying to plug the XT60 in and hold down the bind button on a receiver or whatever, uh, just being able to just kind of press the bind button and press that button for the power output is fantastic but let's spend a bit more time looking at these two new products first one we'll look at then is the Vifly strobe now this uses five three watt high intensity LEDs and it's designed to be stuck on the outside of your model for uh, visibility at great range we have a battery uh, charging cable uh, we have quite a few bits of Velcro for you to stick it on stuff. And then we have the actual little thing itself. So three different color LEDs on here. Uh, there are three white ones, one red one and one green. And each color has three modes, strobe, slow flash, and you can have them on a solid. And they're visible for about three miles, uh, which I think is an FAA thing, maybe. Not sure. But... If you are looking at uh, kind of having something like this on your model, then uh, this is incredibly bright. The, the camera is not doing it justice. How bright this strobe is, I'm having to look away from the camera as this is going. Uh, this is one of those things that if you need to fly at night or you fly in a situation where you need that kind of visibility this is quite a cute way to do it it takes a while to charge the battery up that's the only thing uh, i'd recommend plugging it in and leaving it for a couple of hours it doesn't connect to the flight controller in any way so this literally could be put on any model it looks like they've given you one piece of the soft uh, velcro to go on the device and then two extra pieces to put on whichever models you've got. So I'm guessing, you know, DJI pilots, things like that would find this uh, particularly useful. The one uh, that I'm really excited about is this one here. This is the GPS Mate, and it's a power module for the GPS. Now the way this works is that it takes away that problem. I don't know if you've ever had it where you go to the field, you want to fly a model that has a GPS on it. As an INAV pilot, that happens to me an awful lot. And the GPS takes ages and ages and ages to connect. So what you end up doing is you plug the battery in and then you have to try and go into the VTX power manager and set it in the on-screen display for pit mode so the VTX doesn't overheat while it's sat there. Uh, sometimes the GPS from a cold start can take many minutes to get a lock up. But once it's got a lock, it's usually quite quick. It can be really, really annoying. This is to fix that particular problem so again it's a little battery on here and it has the connections that go out to the gps and it also has the connections that go to the flight controller when it's plugged into the flight controller then it's actually charging the battery that is on here there's no additional uh, connector here so you can't kind of give it an initial charge from um, USB port which is a bit of a shame that would have been a nice addition to have uh, as well as you can see on here it's also got kind of the uh, a battery backed up buzzer feature so you can actually if I turn it over on here when you connect to the flight controller you've got connections for ground transmit and receive and 5 volts that go out uh, through to the GPS 
uh, well, you can change the voltage, but more about that in a second. You've got the buzzer pin, so you can make the actual buzzer sound, which is very handy. And you've got the serial clock and serial data line, the two pins for the I squared C. Now, if you're using a GPS that doesn't have the compass wired up, that's the way I tend to use it, you can just use the supplied cables here to kind of wire everything together and just plug it all in and that makes it very very easy to connect up uh, if however you are using the compass so it's in a quad then you are going to have to actually use these pads uh, not all of the cables sadly are exposed in here so you just need to cut this back and do a little bit of soldering uh, in terms of the buttons on it um, there aren't very many there's one on the top here uh, that is to turn it on and turn it off and the one at the side here uh, tells you whether or not you want about 3 volts or 3.3 uh, volts or 5 volts that goes to the GPS. So using this, if you've ever had that situation where you have a model where the GPS takes forever to get a lock for the first couple of flights, this could be the answer. Installing this in the model not only gives you a nice loud buzzer, but also means that what you can do is just power this on and the onboard battery will power the GPS, get the lock, and then you can just power it from uh, from the flight controller. Once it's powered, you don't need to come and turn it off. You can come and turn it off automatically. It will just shut down after 30 minutes. So when you get to the field, I'm potentially going to pop this in one of my little tracks that seems to take eight minutes <laughs> sometimes when I first get to the field. This would be amazing just to plug into that GPS and let it yeah, get a GPS lock and then from there on in it should be able to do a warm boot and get a lock very quickly. So those are the two new things from Vifly. The first one is the strobe and the second one then is this cool thing called the GPS Mate. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.